There is a command called solid edit in BricsCAD and it has so many powerful functions that uh, I'm going to have to spend a couple of videos working with it. The solid edit command is kind of like an omnibus in that it uh, handles 15 different operations on the uh, faces, edges, and solids themselves. To get an idea of what it embraces, if you have the menu bar on, go to model, 3D solids editing, and then everything from extrude face all the way through to check. These are all functions performed by the solid edit command. When you draw a 3D box, it's solid, truly solid all the way through like a cast iron brick. Solid edit command can hollow it out to make it more like a real box that has a hollow inside. So we'll start the solid edit command and then it asks you which one of the options you want. You can see that there's commands that apply to just faces, just edges, or to the body itself. Remember that body is the name for a 3D solid. In this case, we want to hollow out the body. So we type B for body. You can see the shell option. Type S for shell. It asks to select a 3D solid. So I select this box. And then it asks if we want to uh, remove a face. And I'm going to do that because that way you can see that it's hollow. Choose a face is to press the control key and then click. So then you can press enter. Offset distance, well that's kind of arbitrary, but I'm going to go 0.1 in this case. You can see that the box is hollow, looking a little bit like a foundation for pouring concrete. To exit the command, I'll press enter twice. Solid Edit makes copies of faces, which can be useful to extract entities out of a 3D solid. I'm going to start the Solid Edit command. This time it's a face we're working with, so I'll type F for face, and then you can see the copy option. I type C for copy. It asks me to select a face. I'm going to first zoom in so I can see it clearly. Hold down the control key, choose this face, zoom back out again by rolling the mouse's roller wheel. Press enter to indicate that I'm done selecting. Now it's going to ask for a base point from which to start the copy, so I'll click here and then some other distance over here and now you can see the copied face. Press enter twice to exit the command. When I select the copied face, you can see that properties reports that it is a 2D region. The solid edit command allows us to color the faces of a body individually. This can be useful if you want to mimic the look of an actual mechanical device or just to distinguish different parts of the solid. So once again I'm going to enter F for it because this is a face operation. And then there is the color option but you have to type an L to access that. And then it asks for a face to color. So I'm going to pick this one and then uh, press enter because I'm done selecting faces. And it has the um, various colors, but you can also put in any of the 255 colors provided by BricsCAD. Uh, just to make it stand out, I'm going to choose red. And then uh, maybe I'll color another face yellow. So I'm going to choose this face and uh, put in Y for yellow. Mm -hmm. 